One of the most used and abused words today in the human language languages is love. At least for sure in America. I can't speak for every country, but humans are humans. I'm sure it's the same everywhere. The word love has become so cheap and meaningless that I won't even say it. It's like a few words out there that the meanings have become so diluted that you're just a lot better off to not even let them come out of your mouth. Like people tell me all the time, I love you, I love you, I love you, and they probably get a little offended when I don't say it back, and I'm not going to say it back because I know a little better of what this word means and its value, and people have just lost complete sense of its value. The little boys are telling the little girls, oh, I love you, I love you, and the girls are like, oh, he loves me, and, and it's all just to get a part of them that they like, not the complete picture. People use the word love as a, a pry bar, some leverage, just to get a little something they want. I'm sure some people are like, they're sincere when they say it, but it's just, it's been made so worthless that I'm not going to join in that number of abuse of a word. Loving somebody is easy. The difficult part is actually liking somebody. I'd take more value if somebody liked me or didn't like me. Like the people you hang around with, say your family automatically they're probably going to say, oh, I love you. But deep down inside, do they even like you? That holds more value to me in today's mentality of things is if you like me, if you really like me, I could figure that out. If you don't like me, I could figure that out pretty easy too. But when it comes to love, it's just like that's an empty word because I'm like, yeah, I don't really think you understand what you're even saying. People associate love with nice and kind and soft and these type of things however love operates in all kinds of different attitudes and all kinds of different emotions even though it's not an emotion at all that's where most people get it messed up is because they believe love is an emotion which it is not at all when you like somebody when you don't like somebody you can still love them Take, for instance, the relationship between kids and parents today. Not that many people do this because they're so dumbed down that they won't even take a belt to their kids when they really need to take a belt to their kids. Um, in that relationship of, to the people who do actually discipline their kids and inflict just a little bit of pain to get their attention because they're not going to listen to you speak. They don't respond to that. It's just how kids are. But pain, anybody will respond to. So, you're a parent. Your kids are messing, messing up, doing stupid stuff. Take a belt to them, hand, whatever you choose to use. You're inflicting a little bit of pain on, the, on them to get their attention, hopefully to teach them a lesson. And the kid's probably thinking, this ain't love. But yet, in that action, you know, understanding that this parent does love their kids. Let's just go with that. This parent absolutely loves their kids, but they're swinging a belt, whooping their butt trying to line them out, give them a little correction in life. It's not received that way to the child. They're like, oh, you're beating me. However, in that action, still love, even though it doesn't make sense to most people because they don't understand what love even means. Parents that don't whoop their kids' butts, line them out by that means, they're big pussies. Their kids run the show, and those parents do not love their kids. There's just some evidence. It's really stupid to me how people get offended whenever they say, I love you, and you don't say it back because how they believe that if you don't say it back, oh, they don't love me. They really don't love me because they don't say it back. This is the dumbest thing ever. If people really understood the meaning of the word love, they would never let it come out of their mouth. They would instead let their actions speak for, speak for their mouth concerning love, which they don't. So, in a way, it's kind of like a, a judge of character as to who you're talking to and as to where their level of their mind's at by simple phrases they use and how they understand. So whenever you hear people saying, oh, I love you, oh, I love you, you kind of got a good 
ballpark of where they're at in their mind. And for anybody that thinks I'm just a heartless monster because I don't say I love you back, you really need to get over your world sown taught mentality of the word love because I'm not going to say it back. Do I need to love my brothers, sisters, and neighbors? Sure, no problem with that. That one's easy. My brothers and sisters obviously would have the same dad as me, so they would be like me, at least in some form or another. So therefore, it would be easy to like them. Be easy to love these people. As far as who your neighbor is, just use good judgment on that. Literally how it goes, I get along fine with all my neighbors, so it's all good. Well, that's probably way more to say about love for now. So until next time, later.